I show you my stuff with DM Scotty. Hey guys, have I got a treat for you today. Um, I finished a new dice tray that I was working on. And like the other one, I started out with this uh, hexagonal, just wooden hexagonal dice tray and totally converted it um, to have a theme. And this time's theme is a, a zombie theme. So um, I love my zombie games. Um, you know, hey, who doesn't love zombies? Uh, so I thought, I need a dice tray for zombies. So I made a dice tray. So let's go to the table and I'll show you how that came out. Hey guys, I'm working on another dice tray and I want to do a zombie theme this time. Um, so here's the dice tray I got. It's just a basic wooden dice tray. If you see my monster dice tray, you've seen this before. So I'm just going to open it up. And then um, I have the bottom here. And I did a piece of foam. I cut a piece of foam to match the bottom so that it won't slide around. Um, also, this part comes off. So what I'm going to do is put a piece in the in the center here uh, with room so that the top can come back down and I'll paint a zombie on that and so that should be pretty cool but I want to have it kind of like ripping flesh and so I will match this to the zombie and the flesh will be kind of ripping um, off of it and I've got some gore on the edges so I'll paint that up uh, and come back and show you what it looks like so hey guys here's the cool dice tray that I made uh, you can see it looks really good I got some gore on the edges there uh, and uh, like a cement barrier type thing and then I have the zombie inside chewing and pulling on that flesh that's on the outside uh, looks like he's really recessed see as the shadow kind of engulfs him but that really came out cool I think that really looks neat uh, let me chuck some dice in there so get my zombie side dice chuck them in there and there we go we got a nice cool dice tray these dice are pretty cool they're like uh, zombie for one Molotov for six and then bullet holes for the other uh, digits. So I think those are pretty cool. But anyways, there we go. There's the uh, zombie dice tray. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the technique. I, sh I showed you kind of in the raw state um, how I did it, but uh, you saw that I did the foam. I just painted this zombie head on the foam. Uh, these gore patches are just made out of acrylic caulk. I just kind of mold, uh, just kind of uh, sculpt the caulk on there with a, just a plastic tool. Uh, I think the cement came out really nice too. I used a little bit of my um, flexible modeling medium to put on the edges to cover up uh, the, um, the, the, uh, the construction of the piece itself because uh, it fits on the top and there's, um, there's uh, tendons that fit in um, each side. So I wanted to cover those up. So I used that, but I wanted to make it look like concrete. So I used a, I put it on much smoother than I normally do. I wasn't trying to go for a rock texture. I was trying to go for like concrete. Um, and I think it really came out nice. Um, I also saw a technique that uh, I could use where I use um, spray uh, white and black. So I painted it uh, by hand and then sprayed some white and black on it to give it really a nice uh, coloring. And I think that came out really nice there. It really looks like concrete. Um, so I think that was very successful. All right, there we go. There's my uh, cool zombie dice tray. And I'll see you next time on I Show You My Stuff. Hey, crafters. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the DMs Craft. Uh, make sure to subscribe. And I have tons of other videos, as you can see. I am the originator of the 2.5D method of crafting tiles. I also do dirt cheap terrain for the table. If all this intrigues you, make sure you check out all the videos below. Also, uh, join my forum. We have lots of great crafters on there who give uh, advice. I have a link above and below. And last but not least, remember, go forth and craft!